Comic-Con. We are live at the Vans Warp Tour in Pomona, and we are so psyched to have one of the members from Less Than Jake. Vinny, what's up, man? You know what? I'm just enjoying the California sun. It's much cooler here than it is in Florida, so I'm excited. Awesome. But not as cool as Europe, which we were uh, a few days before this uh, tour kicked off. So that was 70 degrees, and then Florida was 101, and now it's 85 out, and so I'm all right. Does it get to a point where you, you just, you're waking up and you're like, you have no idea where you're at? No. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I know where I'm at. We're in Pomona. It's great. Awesome, awesome. So tell me a little bit about the, the band's inception. How did you guys get started? Um, were you the kind of the, the ringleader in this act? Well, you know, I, I think that uh, I definitely uh, spearheaded a lot of the ideas and a lot of the art and a lot of... Uh, the songs for Less Than Jake, but I think that it's always a collective thing with our band. I think that I firmly believe in that the, the sum of the parts, you know, and I think that Less Than Jake wouldn't be Less Than Jake if all the people in the band weren't actively uh, participating. But I think that, you know, with Less Than Jake, we started in a college town, Gainesville, Florida, and it just was friends, a natural progression of just kind of like fucking off a bit, like between of the weekends and at nights and just playing and started to do shows and it sort of uh, expanded little by little by little by little and now we're here 16 years later. Any theory, Vinny, on, on why Florida has kind of spawned so many great bands? I don't know. It's a, it's very much the sister state to California, man. I mean, why? why? I don't know. I think maybe it's a uh, the extreme sports aspect of it, man, I'll be honest with you. Surfing, skating, you know, I think that breeds music and it sort of breeds that, uh, the mentality of a little bit outside the box, so maybe that's it, because California has a similar yeah, yeah. vibe to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, go ahead. Uh, well, I was going to say, we're, we're operating out of, out of Hollywood, California, right? This is where the site runs out of. Um, and as I'm sure that you're aware of, Hollywood lost, you know, three pretty major iconic figures, Ed McMahon, Fawcett and uh, of course Michael Jackson yeah. um, which brings me to my next question for you Vinny is do you yourself think about legacy at all and how you want to be remembered does that come into of course. your I mean that's it, it sort of always kind of goes in the back of people's brains I, I don't obsess over it and I'm not really that sort of uh, uh, it doesn't weigh on me that hard but sometimes I kind of sit back and go uh, look at the body work that I've done and, and that we've done as a band and I wonder if it will stand up to any kind of test of time. I mean, it's been 16 years since we've been a band, so that's a decent amount, but I often wonder if it is enough to sort of, you know, uh, be, you know, uh, around for, for two decades, three decades to come. I mean, look at the Misfits. The Misfits probably are bigger now than they ever were when they were an active band. That's legacy, man. Is there an ingredient in the, in the recipe for longevity that, that you can point to that you know, why is it that, that out of a million bands, you know, 1% are still surviving and, and the, rest <laughs> really, the rest fall off the cliff? I mean, what, what is it? You know what? I mean, I think that, hey, man. Everyone's walking through a fucking interview, dude. <laughs> That's Buddy, our trombone player, and Raj. Hey, but here's the thing. I think that uh, in less than Jake's case, these guys are my brothers, you know. We argue like brothers, you know. I see them more than I see my family, so I think that ultimately it becomes that like sort of brotherly love hate that fuels that sort of machine that goes there's a chemistry that we have i mean i don't know i think that anytime that there's an active band there has to be a certain amount of chemistry to the, those those parts it goes to the sum of the parts again there has to be a, a, an active ingredient who the fuck knows i mean for less than jake it's the fact that these guys are my brothers i travel with them i see them you know i see them more than my real family and it's just one of those things that we get that you know have grown together last question for you and then I'll, I'll let you off the hook here um, do you have any crazy superstitions that or, or any OCD things that you have to do before a stage absolutely I pee in a cup every time <laughs> like that's it like you know like are you bullshitting me or are you for, no I'm for real okay. I'm gonna tell you I want to know the best one of the best stories about that yeah. so we played this uh, Reading Festival right, right. and uh, it's like 90,000 people were on the main stage. 90,000 people are out there. And I'm like, I got to piss in this cup, you know? So, you know, the tour manager is like, go behind Lin Lincoln Park was headlining. Go behind Lincoln Park's amps and piss. Like, you'll be able to piss. So, I, like, I have a cup and I'm pissing, right? But here's the... Hi. Hey, he owns a blog as well. It's good stuff. Blogger, you. But, so, 
I, as I'm sitting there pissing, right, and in the cup, there's not, I look over, there's 90,000 people in front of me this way, and I'm pissing right before we go on, literally three minutes before we go on, and I look down the Lincoln Park set list because it's glue, it's like taped onto their guitar cabinets, and it has like, you know, song, 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 and then it says break, turn your hat to the side, oh. give shout out to Metallica. <laughs> and, Fuck off, are you serious? Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm I, so I'm pissing as I'm like reading down their list and it has like their little notes to like what they're doing and how their like stage shows going. So I'm pissing it, but I'm laughing fucking like so hard that I'm pissing and, and there's 90,000 people there. I'm pissing, looking at Lincoln Park's notes and there it is, went out and played. Best story of the day so far. There it is. Vinny from Less Than Jake. So <laughs> being in a cup, that's my thing. Don't steal it. I don't want to hear anything about like, I got, I'm peeing in a cup now. I like, uh, that's my superstition. I'm peeing in a cup. No, I pee in a cup. Okay. I actually stole it from Bugface from the Descendants. But so we're gonna we'll edit that out. Yeah, cool. Hey, this is Vinny from Less Than Jake, and you are watching, listening to, browsing through Rockerazzi. There you go.